So this semester we were expected to create a virtual library that contained many different books. So the categories range from contemporary realistic fiction, fantasy, historical fiction, informational and bibliography, literature representing diverse populations, poetry, science fiction, traditional literature slash folktale. These books all contain different themes, messages, and are all very different because of the genre that they're, they're from. None of these books were alike. Only the books that were from the same category shared like similar themes and messages. So choosing from these categories, I really liked fantasy, which the books were called Eight Animals Bake a Cake, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and Peppa Pig Backyard Circus. So these books were very easy to read, kid-friendly, funny, and makes us imagine if these events really happen. I really especially really like Eight Animals Bake a Cake because it had some Spanish translations and just it wasn't just in English. So we got to learn two languages. I also liked the traditional literature such as folktales. I have Jack and the Beanstalk, The Tale of Peter Rabbit, and The Ugly Duckling. <clears throat> I specifically just like Jack and the Beanstalk and The Ugly Duckling because these stories were portrayed accurately, have a good plot, we can easily relate to the characters, and they're enjoyable to read. I also liked the historical fiction category, which I have On the Mayflower, Sweet Clara, and The Freedom Quilt, and Abe Lincoln Crosses a Creek. So these stories allowed us to learn about our world and events from the past. We can picture and imagine if we were there. We can relate to some of the characters and imagine we are one of them. I also liked literature representing diverse populations. This was probably one of the best categories categories of books to read because and to use in the classroom because it allows us to understand how we are unique and should be accepted and shows us how we are all important. And it really like focuses on those people with disabilities, Down syndrome, physical disabilities, gay. It just not just focus on like the rich and like the people that are okay it branches out i also like the informational and bibliography section because it teaches us real facts and we understand different jobs and humans and people in society that we don't really normally hear about my least favorite was the poetry section specifically i have here Poetry in Motion, Fox and Socks, and The Giving Tree. So specifically, I did not like Fox and Socks because this book was hard to read. The rhymes made no sense and it was not catchy. <clears throat> it was like very different than the Cat in the Hat book. And this book right, made me feel so many mixed emotions like, what is happening? How do I read this? And I also did not like science fiction. Because these books were a very bit different, like the plot, the setting, and I did not understand what the plot or the themes or what was happening. Like I was like lost, like so many things were happening, like not a set plot, like they kept traveling. I was like, what is going on? I also like did not like the contemporary realistic fiction. Because these books were very different and I did not understand the plot, the events, and seemed real but did not actually happen. So my all-time fav book was favorite book was The Ugly Duckling because I can relate to the duck. Um, I am very different than my sisters and just like events from the story that oh you can relate to from when you're in middle school and elementary school. So Reading all these books, I learned that having a variety of books is important. It was a lot to read, but I enjoyed creating a library. These books will teach students about society, how to act, and contain many valuable lessons. You should allow students to read books from all genres. In the future, I will use the literature representing diverse cultures because they understand that we are all unique and should be loved, and that they understand how they are very special. I will use the folk tales 
and teach about storytelling and also historical fiction because they can understand the importance of people's lives and history.